Dr. Eric Anderson, a geneticist at Northwestern University, is a man with a mission to capture the genetic diversity of Cenorhabditis elegans, or C. elegans, a species of nematode. Even though this tiny worm is only the size of a full stop, it has had a huge impact on our understanding of human biology. The importance of C. elegans in genetic research is highlighted by its key role in six Nobel Prize winning studies. However, most studies use only a single genetic strain of C. elegans. This is like trying to study the whole of human biology by looking at a single person. Genetic diversity exists within every species, so it's important to capture the natural genetic variation of C. elegans to improve its use as a model organism. Model organisms are non-human species that scientists can study to increase their understanding of biological processes shared with humans. C. elegans has several features that make it a powerful model organism for geneticists like Dr. Anderson. It's easy to grow in a lab. It has a life cycle of only three and a half days. It can be stored frozen and then brought back to life. Scientists know the location of every cell in C. elegans. It shares many genes with humans. But the C. elegans genome is 1 30th the size of the human genome, so it's much easier to study. To determine the natural genetic diversity of C. elegans, Dr. Anderson collects samples from wild populations. He goes on hikes and picks up rotting leaves, fruits, or fungi. With each sample, he takes a picture and records the environmental parameters. Back in the laboratory, Dr. Anderson collects the nematodes as they crawl off the vegetation, identifies them, and sequences their genetic material. He adds each new strain to his collection, building a database of global C. elegans genetic diversity. Other geneticists can then use the C. elegans genetic data in their own research. By ensuring that genetics research is truly capturing the natural diversity of C. elegans populations, Dr. Anderson's work will help researchers to improve our understanding of human biology. And you can help Dr. Anderson with his mission. When you're next on a hike, pick up some rotting vegetation and send it to Dr. Anderson. He'll analyze the nematodes on it and add the genetic material of any C. elegans to his database. You'll be contributing to the field of genetic research. You've learned about Dr. Anderson's work. What would you study as a geneticist? What could you achieve?